What's going on folks? Well today we begin a new project and actually I already started if you can't tell for me sweating. Totally forgot to turn on any kind of a video camera to show what I'm doing but I am starting the prep for the sod. I rented the, a power rake and um, you guys saw me use this when I did the renovation in the fall where we tore up all of the dirt for us to actually get things ready for seed. Well this time what we're doing is we're tearing it up so that I can get rid of all of the debris that was left over from the um, from the glyphosate when I killed the lawn. And so I'm gonna break all that up. I'm using my mower to pull up as much of it as I can. And then I'll probably run through it a couple times. So we really didn't miss anything except for the first pass. Just trying to get the height adjustment proper so that it's not too deep, but it's not too uh, shallow as well. So, and I'm gonna show you some of the areas that we are going to work on specifically to try and get things ready and then some of the work that I've already done to try and get this level because again, I really do want to real mow this as soon as possible. So I don't want to put down a bunch of sod and then have to level it later because that will keep me from real mowing immediately. So I'm going to try and get it as quickly as possible because really, as far as Bermuda is concerned, I think we only have maybe two and a half, maybe three months of Bermuda growth. So I want to be able to use it as quickly as possible. So we need to get this ground level and ready to go. So let me show you what we're working on. As you can see we've already gone through one pass the big areas of concern that we need to deal with are right there in the middle and that's because that's where there used to be a tree stump so i'm going to grind that up as good as i can there are some really big uh, saw spots in there and then the other area that i worked on last night and i got the flags up so that i can tell where all my sprinkler heads are i didn't want to run over those but last night i actually pulled these sprinkler heads up the the rotary one on that side that one goes out to the grass and that's a flower bed but i wanted to pull them up because as you can see there's a little bit of a dip that goes right there and so i needed to lift that up i'm going to put some dirt in there and make sure that it's nice and high and i showed you guys the stump that's right here and you can see all that sand from the, that was actually all from the fall renovation and then the last thing i did was right here and i'm going to continue to grind down a little bit around here but this is my shut off valve for my sprinkler and then my water meter and i don't know if you guys remember looking at any if i can find any footage of it i'll show you but there was a big divot right here when i was trying to real mow well it's because of that so last night i dug it out and lifted it up and as you can see there is a little bit of a lip which i will maybe do a little bit more not too much but you gotta remember when we put down sod it's going to be about an inch high and so i do not want the real mower to hit the concrete but i also don't want to divot there so that's pretty much all I've done so far today. Uh, I've got to do this a couple more times. Like I said, I totally forgot to turn on the camera. Um, it just, you know, I got I got four hours on this run. I'm gonna try and get it all done. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lower it a little bit more, go over it again. And then I've got to do that area right there. I moved the mulch away from the edges so that if I do grind into the edges, I'm not putting a bunch of mulch into the, into the lawn area. So, Got to do that area, got to do this, and then hopefully we can get all that done. Do a couple more passes, and then we can call it a day, and I can return it. So uh, that's going to be all the work I do today. Then tomorrow, one of the things that I'm going to work on is this, and that is the lip right here. Uh, but this is part of the reason I'm trying to grind all this down. I need to take everything down across the edge right there, down about an inch, probably about a half an inch, because when I go and do real mowing, I don't want there to be a lot of teetering to the side so that I'm actually grinding that edge down. I want it to be pretty much as level as I can. Sidewalk right here is actually in pretty good shape. That's about the height that I want everything to be at. So got a lot of work to do, but we'll get it done. One of the things I love about this power rig is that it doesn't necessarily tear up a lot of the dirt, even though it does break up the surface area a little bit. It really helps to move some of the dead grass out of the way so that we can really get to the surface and then move things and blend things pretty well together before we start really worrying about getting things level.
So last time I was too tired to film the end of all the power raking, but I want to show you where we left off and tell you what we're going to do today. So uh, we pretty much went through and finished up all of the power raking. And so today what we're going to do is I'm going to be working on some of the lips um, right along the sidewalk right there and try and bring it down. Apologize for the wind, I'm trying to beat the rain, but we may not be able to beat it. And, uh, but anyway, so I'm trying to get it so that it's like at least half an inch to an inch below grade of where the grade is and the, and the sidewalk and the driveway. Just so that when I put down the turf, it won't be that big of a deal and we won't be too pronounced so that I can actually real mow. And then I'm also going to work on the soft spots where that tree stump was right back here. So I got to work on that and then, um, just make sure that all the sprinkler heads are all clear. So that's pretty much what we're trying to work on. Uh, this will probably take a little bit. I've got two days before the sod gets here. Today's Wednesday. It's supposed to be here Friday. So if I don't get it all done today, that's no big deal. We'll work on it tomorrow. But we do need to get it done before it all gets here so that we can be prepared. So a lot of work to be done still, but we'll get it done. Uh, we only get one shot at this. Once the sod is in, I'm not killing it this time, no matter what happens. We'll have to make the Bermuda work no matter what happens. So let's do it right. As you can see, the power rake leaves quite a bit of the debris left over. So we want to make sure that we separate all of the dead grass from the dirt. It was a lot of work. I did a couple different methods that I tried to get the dirt to separate. I put it over onto the driveway and worked on the rake to kind of move it around and let the dirt fall down. And then we just swept things in. But that turned out to be a lot of work that, uh, it made me do things twice, which wasn't very pleasant. At this point, we start working on that lip, and I thought I was going to be able to get at least an inch down, but there is so much clay there that it didn't make the job easy. I worked it out where I was able to get things moving, and then I took a rake to rough up the surface. The dirt's good, and I probably should have had the power rake come back out and break up some of that dirt. I made a decision that I had enough dirt on the sod that it would be okay. We'll work on this with some aeration next year and we'll also work with some liquid aeration to help penetrate and make sure we get good water below the surface. This sift is a homemade tool that I built a few years ago to separate dirt from rocks from some holes that I had dug in my yard. It's one of those tools that I built and thought I was going to use it once or twice and then throw it away. But the reality of it is, is that it just continues to be a really useful tool and I'll continue to use it for as long as it stays together. All right, folks, well, day three of prep. So it got dark, as you can see, it got dark last night and we couldn't really finish everything that we were working on. But today we should have everything done. I'm going to show you what we have left and hopefully we'll be ready to go because sod comes tomorrow and we want to be ready for that. So the things that we have left here is this is all the leftover dirt after I sifted everything through. And then there's a pretty good soft spot. I don't know if you can actually see it when I step on it. You can see it right there when I step on it. It kind of gives a little bit. So we're going to dig that up today and take care of that. And then I've pretty much done the lip all the way around here. The only thing left is right here at the end of the driveway. We're going to dig that out. We just have to finish from that line right there to the end, and then we will be good to go. And then we just need to make sure we've got a good lip all the way through, and we'll be done. We'll be ready for sod. So let's just get to it. So my wife went ahead and took the initiative and started digging it out to see what it was. And as you can see, all those bright orange pieces are a rotted trunk that goes all the way back into there where her leg is. Um, but it goes all the way back into there. But uh, so we got rid of all the soft spots. Unfortunately, we'll probably have to dig this out again, but I'm not gonna come back in here and grind everything down. So we're just gonna leave the parts that are hard and then we'll clean out all of the rotted pieces and throw that away and then just put the dirt back in. So as you can see, it's just like pulling a thread, unfortunately. 
There's a lot of soft spots there and I was hoping that it wasn't gonna be this bad, but there's just a lot of rotted old punk in there. Right there. So, so just keep pulling. This is it. This was the final grade. My wife did a great job of helping me make sure that we had things level and ready for the sod. It just was a lot of sifting and making sure that we got rid of all of the debris that we could and kept as much of the sand and the compost that we had in there already. Here's where it starts getting dark again. The days are just getting shorter and shorter every day. Well, all right, folks. Well, we are done prepping for the sod tomorrow. They say that it's gonna be here sometime in the late morning. I've gotta finish off my work day and I'll start in the late afternoon. I don't wanna, I mean, we get a lot of sun here throughout the day up here in the front and I do not wanna be laying sod in the middle of the hottest, sunniest part of the day. Hoping the weather holds out. We have about a 30% chance of rain. I don't care if it's raining or not, I'm gonna put this stuff down. But I'm pretty sure that we finished prepping all of the soil. Um, as you can see, and I'll show you real quick, it's a little dark, but I did give it a little bit of a lip along the edge right there. It's not perfect and it's not very deep, but it's good enough. I did raise the water meter so that we don't have any more divot in there. We have filled in the tree stump right there. And then I actually leveled it off quite a bit. So there used to be quite a bit of a hump right there and you don't see that hump as much right there anymore because you're able to go around the edges and kind of fill it in. And then we took out as much of the grass as we possibly could. As you can see, this is like a lot of the leftover sand from both the renovation in the fall and some of the stuff that we put down uh, not too long ago when we thought we were gonna keep the, the bluegrass, but I think we're ready. That's all we really needed to get done tonight. Wanna make sure that we're ready. I don't wanna have to level this thing off too much. It's gonna be inevitable in the next year, we're gonna have to bring in a couple truckloads of sand and level it off just because we can and we're gonna want to because of real mower. But other than that, I think we are in pretty good shape for the saw tomorrow. So stay tuned for the next video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And if you wanna be notified of future videos, don't forget to hit that bell. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great weekend.